What up? It's Alan the Improvement Geek. Welcome to the first video of a new YouTube channel on quality improvement, personal improvement, and just generally cool things. New Year, New Year's resolution. My right New Year's resolution is to finally get in shape this year, 2017, the year of physical fitness. And I thought it would also be a good time to record the very first vlog. First topic of the quality improvement series is going to be quality improvement versus conventional research projects. There are five differences that we're going to discuss. First one being philosophical. So conventional research really aims to generate new scientific data. It asks the question, what am I supposed to do? Another way you can think of it is that it gives you the motivation to carry out a certain practice. So why, why should I put my heart failure patients on an ACE inhibitor, for example? Quality improvement, on the other hand, takes already existing scientific data and tries to apply it in order to achieve a certain level of performance. How do I get all of my heart failure patients on an ACE inhibitor? And the question really there is, how do I do what I'm supposed to do? How do I get myself to do what I'm supposed to do? So if I'm going to look at the, if I'm going to, if I were to look at exercise from a, a conventional research standpoint, I'd ask, you know, does working out three times a week decrease my body fat percentage? Does that work? If I were to look at it from a quality improvement standpoint, I would assume that that study has already been done, that the answer is yes. And the question I'd be asking myself is, yeah, how do I get myself to the gym or onto the mat three times a week so that I can reap those benefits? So that's philosophical difference. Second difference is with the intervention itself. In conventional research, you typically have you know, larger interventions, one big intervention, and you're really trying to isolate all other contexts. You're trying to isolate that variable of interest. In quality improvement, on the other hand, you, you tend to have smaller interventions which are done on a serial basis. So you might try, for example, driving a different home route home from work that takes you by the gym so that you can get yourself into the gym three times a week. You might try um, an accountability buddy. You could try scheduling your, your gym practices in so that you, it, you actually see it on there. The third way that the two differ is with context. So I already mentioned that in conventional research, really you're trying to isolate that one variable. So context generally is either excluded for or controlled for. In quality improvement, on the other hand, you have to actively take context into account to hit your certain level of performance. Again, we're going to take the exercise example. If you say, for example, had someone who had a certain injury or lived super far from the gym, you might take that person and exclude them from the data set if you're doing the exercise trial. On the other hand, those are things that you would actively have to intervene upon in a quality improvement scenario because you're trying to achieve a certain level of performance. You have to account for someone's injury. You have to account for the fact that they live far away from the gym and yet still um, hit that level of performance that you're aiming for. So that's context. The fourth major way that these things differ is data collection. So I mentioned that in quality improvement, you have several serial interventions and typically you are collecting much less data than in conventional research, but you're doing it over time. In conventional research, you're typically getting huge amounts of data before, after, and typically you're getting data to describe your populations, your subsets, so that you can analyze after, kind of a just-in-case scenario. In quality improvement, you're really just getting enough data to inform your next intervention. So the ones I mentioned before, you might collect a little bit of data, see how your accountability buddy affects your performance. Collect some more data after you change your route home and see if you're 
going to the gym more as a result of that in intervention, and so on and so forth, but just small collections over time. So the last way that these two disciplines differ is with outliers. So with, with conventional research, outliers are typically excluded again. So their extremes of performance are not counted in the analysis. In quality improvement though, outliers are a great source of hypothesis generation. So if you get someone who goes to the gym like more, more than three times, or seven, seven days a week, you can examine what they're able to do that, or what their, what their process is that allows them to do that and try and apply that more generally. So those are the five ways that quality improvement and conventional research differ. So philosophically, uh, what am I supposed to do versus how do I get myself to do what I'm supposed to do? Um, data collection, context, intervention itself, and outliers. So five ways stemming from that one main philosophical difference. So I hope that video is helpful. I'm hoping to post many more in the weeks and months to come, and I will see you next time. Peace.